and others have led us to do some kind of research about your sacrifice community here at the largest tar sands refinery in the United States. I think we were invited as a result of the fact that we've been, uh, we've been, uh, BP has been one of our devils in this church. Uh, two weeks ago, we were in the British Museum in London. Uh, BP is sponsoring an exhibit there about the history and prehistory of the indigenous peoples of Australia at the same time that they're threatening those very people uh, with the oil wells that they are proposing they drill off the southern coast of Australia which will be deeper than the deep water horizon. It's a nursery for whales, a delicate ecosystem, community of life. Our feeling about BP is that they are unafraid to use life, human life, and otherwise as just a part of their market, just a part of what they'll take advantage of to beef up their bottom line. And that's our definition of the devil. Amen. What are Amen. We doing? Amen. 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 What are you doing? Stop. We're shifting a little bit here. Electric slide. All right. Electric slide. All right. I felt the church moving a little bit here. All right. Oh. All right. Move the people, Billy. Move the boogie boogie. Well, this is the Stop Shopping oh, Choir sorry. here. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and this is Mark Town. Yeah. 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 deeply respect you in your struggle. You are activists just by living here. You represent what so many people around the world are going through. But I have to say, you got a situation that is criminal. You're victims of the criminal corporate mentality. Yes. yes. And we in our, we're from many different faith backgrounds here. Uh, we're, our, I, I think our, our main faith background is the driving the money changers out of the temple. I think that's our uh, basic woo! thing. But we, we have many communities that we go to and not many of them are in a situation quite like yours. Amen. I have to say, you are an inspiration to all of us. In the climate change sense, the people of the world and the life of this planet have become a sacrifice community. We're, we are all of us, Marktown. Amen. All right, amen. 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 We've been talking to people who are threatened, but we also go to upper middle class communities and talk to people that think they're protected, amen, well, well. by their money. Part of our education that we're trying to bring to people is we are in an apocalyptic situation right now amen. where we have to step up and do some things that are, feel counterintuitive, mm -hmm. that feel strange, <coughs> a little more courageous than we expected to be, amen? Because these people will kill us, and we That's keep right. not quite believing that they will. You hear what I'm saying? We keep doing double takes, double takes, and looking at the oil companies and saying, you're not really gonna do that, are you? The main corporate responsibility of BP!
bringing people to the consciousness that the tipping point has tipped. Yeah. And we got to start, stop being consumers and start being doers. Hallelujah. Makes us want to sing a song for you called The End of the World. Are you ready? The End of the World. Yeah. yeah. Isolated from each other. Oh. That is how the oil companies want it. Uh, they want us to separate. And since we're not united, fall. They've got police people cruising around here separating us from the refinery. Yeah. Yeah. Watching us. Got a microphone in the tree here, probably. Hello. Hello. Hey, man. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> you have children too? <laughs> Let's save our kids. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. We've all been dealing with.
dealing with the violence of corporations and reaching out to each other, we know that a step that we must take is to reach into the corporations. The first line of the corporations is the militarized police. We're trying to remember to talk to the police more and more and more and not have hateful responses and not have the snarky comic responses, amen? amen? In which you end up putting down the police and just making them more pissed off than ever. They have children. They love life. Life hallelujah. Finding surprising ways to communicate with each other has to be a part of the coming climate revolution. <coughs> Must be how we move forward. Get the stereotypes out of there. Let's talk about living. How are we going to survive these gigantic cults? called corporations that really will kill us to increase their profits. Every quarterly report, they have to report expansion. Expansion is like a cancer. And who are they expanding for? Invisible speculators that we will never meet. Meanwhile, letting a historical community rot on their watch, despite their promises, We've read that letter online. The lies. We have to break through the, to the liars as well. Charm them, touch them. Buy them a drink. That's right, Reverend. Well, there, there's so many of them out there. What they'll say in court, what they'll say to a newspaper, lying is their bill of trade. We have to just get in front of them. Love them. Change them. Let's change them. Somebody give me change a here. Change a To be, 
climate changed us. Climate changed us. When the sunshine hates us. I'm a member of the MyCats, which is Michigan Coalition Against Tar Sands, who have primarily been fighting against pipelines in Michigan. Tom asked me if I'd come up and maybe share on pipelines, and I could. I can tell you about 6B that's spilled into the Kalamazoo. I can tell you about Line 5 through the Straits of Mackinac, through the um, Allegheny Pipeline, you know, the Flanagan South. Uh, I can talk about BP. I can talk about the collapse of the Arctic Ice Shelf or what the spill in the Gulf has done to the dolphins. I can talk about the communities from Marktown to Detroit to the Gulf Coast who have lost their industries, who have lost their homes with cancers and birth defects and neurological problems and illnesses. I can talk to you about the abuse of the company like Enbridge and BP and TransCanada and Shell Oil and the list goes on and on. But what I want to talk to you about... <laughs> Amen. Talk about it! <laughs> I, I don't have a lot of hope that we can win. I can't save your community. I can't heal a child who has a respiratory illness because he happened to live on the Kalamazoo. I can't save the Arctic ice shelf, you know. I'm not a good man, okay? I've been a terrible father. I've been a terrible husband. I've often been a bad friend. I'm the kind of guy you would think would take a job at BP, be happy with the nice paycheck, and fuck the world and everybody in it. But somewhere, I fell in love with the earth and the people in it. All right. and I just You don't have to be smart. You don't have to be good to take a stand and do something. All right. You know, there is a place for everybody. And I have met the most incredible people. Whether they come and they share their love and their talent, or they lock themselves to a pipeline and go to jail, or they organize, or they raise money to get people like me out of jail and get us from point A to point B, or they just care. They send you these messages online telling you they love you and support you. I don't know if we can win, but we can fight. And if you want to know how, there's people who can show you. I mean, we're having an action camp that everybody's welcome to in Michigan in the summer where we get together, we share our ideas, we talk about our fears and concerns, and we teach each other. We support each other. We take care of one another. There's a commemoration for the Kalamazoo spill where you meet people from a community just like this that are living with the horror and the devastation that's left from companies like this because they don't care. They are murderers. They right. willingly know that they will kill you for money. My brother's a killer. He's in penitentiary in Montana. He's the rest of his life. But he is not as dirty as these kind of killers. Because they'll give you a ballpark. And they'll give you a pretty little promise. And they'll give you a little money. But they're killing us. Yeah. They do not care. You know, they are sociopathic. We can't That's reason right. with them. We can't talk to them. We can't plead with them. We have to stop. Them. And we can do it. We yes. can do it. Right. Yes. Yes. Machine down in Roosevelt University. Oh, I think 
it was accidentally, but the meaning was very clear. <laughs> My hand just flew out. <laughs> My name is Tom Shepard, and I'm here with Jim Kinney. <laughs> nice to meet everybody. Thanks, Reverend. Hey, Thanks, Squire. We're both from the southeast side of Chicago, and thanks to other southeast siders for being here, other members of the Southeast Environmental Task Force and the band, the Petco Coalition from the southeast side of Chicago. When they did the big expansion over here a few years ago, we didn't know that we were going to be the recipients of an insidious, dirty, filthy, ugly product called petroleum coke that comes from the tar sands. About 33% of the tar sands that are piped into this place and refined end up as this ugly, gravelly, stony type of material that has has heavy metals in it, has toxins in it, it has petroleum dust in it that blows throughout our communities. Jim lives just a few blocks away from a facility that's owned by, and, and here's this is the test time. It's owned by a company called KCBX. And somebody tell us what the K stands for in KCBX. Coke. 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 Killers. Coke brothers. Coke we've got a very killers. astute crowd here because you're right. It's the Coke brothers. More killers. More people who don't care about the people on the southeast side, don't care about you. They're just like BP, just as insidious and diabolical in what they're doing to the planet and what they're doing to our shores of the Calumet River where all this pet coke that's produced here has been uh, trucked over and railed over to us where it goes out into other parts of the world to be burned. Now they say they can't burn it in its pure form in the United States because it's just too full of carbon, too dangerous for the atmosphere. So what are they doing? Do you think they're doing the right thing? No. They're sending it to China, India, uh, Brazil, other countries that have less stringent uh, regulations on burning it. So, I mean, from the very beginning where they're ruining the entire province of Alberta, Canada, and where they're uh, along the pipelines, where the pipelines are bursting and the trains are falling <coughs> off the rails and exploding and burning up and killing people to the pet coke that comes over to our side of the border here, just three miles uh, west of here on the Illinois side of the border. It gets burned in other places. They're killing people, they're harming the environment. I want to say that, and, and I'll echo what Al said, even though he's much more eloquent than I am at doing it, we want to tell you thank you very much for each part, each thing that every one of you are doing for us, for the community, for the planet. And uh, just keep on, keep on coming out. Thanks for being out here, Jim. Do you have anything to add to that? Uh, other than uh, just, uh, we got to stop the tar sands out of Canada. That's it. Amen. 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 Thank you. Remember As we gather together, as we gather together, in solidarity, to express a feeling, to express a feeling of mass injustice, we must not lose sight, we must not lose sight of what brought us together. Now we rise, we rise, so that, so that all people, all people who feel wrong, who feel wrong by the corporate forces. By the Our rights. The 
upon corruption of that system. It's up to the individuals to protect their own rights protect. and those of their neighbors. Check. Woo. Now we come to you. We come to you. At a time when corporations, when corporations which place profit over people and self interest, self -interest over justice, over justice and oppression, and oppression, and oppression, equality, equality.
committed. We are committed to saving ourselves. To saving ourselves. It's that simple. It's that, that simple. simple. You are not a service. You, you are not a service. service. You are not good jobs. You, you are not good jobs. jobs. You are toxic. You, you are toxic. toxic. You do not make prosperity. You do not make prosperity. You are poisoning us. You are, you are poisoning us. us. You are poisoning the earth. You are poisoning the earth. We will rise up. We will rise up. But the earth will rise up. But the earth will rise up. We will rise up. We will rise up. All of life will rise up. All of life will rise up. We are faith. We are faith. We are soul. We are soul. We are the earth. We are the earth. We will stop you. We will stop you. You are a disease. You are a disease. We don't know how. We don't know how. It got this bad. We got this bad. We can't explain it. We can't explain it. We do the research. We do the research. But now we have done. But now we have done. Enough of that. Enough of that. It's no longer a question. It's no longer a question. Of information. Of information. It is our courage. It is our courage. Our need to live. Our need to live. The earth is speaking through us. The earth is speaking through us. You will be a tombstone. You will be a tombstone. Refinery. Refinery. You will be a tombstone. You will be a tombstone. And Mark Town. And Mark Town. Will flourish. Will flourish. And all the citizens there. And all the citizens there. They will survive. They will survive. They are the front line. They are the front line. We are grateful to them. We are grateful to them. They heal us. They heal us. They stop you. They stop you. You need healing too. You need healing too. Come out of there. Leave those billionaires. Leave those billionaires. To their own healing. To their own healing. Earth Hallelujah. Earth